Back pain versus kidney pain. What's the difference? And how do you know if your back pain is coming from your kidneys? I'm surprised how commonly I get that question. It's probably once every month or two that someone asks me that. And I wouldn't think it would be an incredibly common question because back pain is a very, very, very common condition. Over 80% of people in America have it at some point in their life and a relatively small number of people in comparison have kidney problems. Now, only 1% of back pain is caused by serious problems. For example, a kidney problem, cancer, something like that. Most back problems are caused by simple musculoskeletal pain. So the reason I think I get that question so commonly is because a lot of times back pain doesn't have a specific cause or an injury you can realize sometimes just you wake up one morning and your back's incredibly sore, you can't get out of bed. And that naturally makes your brain think something serious has to be going on because you didn't remember lifting something heavy or twisting your back and having an injury, but yet all of a sudden you wake up in this sudden severe pain. And it, it naturally, your brain goes to the worst case scenario that it can think of. Now, kidney pain is a cause of back pain, and you do have to make sure that that's not truly where it's coming from. But I'd say if you woke up with a sudden case of back pain and you don't know what caused it, kidney pain wouldn't be the first thing that I think of. Now, that being said, how do you make sure that it's not coming from your kidneys? Well, kidney pain is usually located higher up in the back, just underneath the rib cage, whereas most lower back pain is lower down in the back, down sort of by the belt line. Kidney pain is often a deep aching sensation that is more or less constant. It usually doesn't vary when you move or stretch or do different movements. Conversely, it may be affected by doing things like going to the bathroom or if you drink a lot of water or if you have a really high protein meal, something that's going to put a lot of stress on your kidneys. Those are things that would uh, make you think that your back pain might be coming from your kidney. Additionally, if you notice blood in your urine, those are things that would almost guarantee that your back pain is coming from your kidneys. But in most scenarios, if you're having lower back pain, treat it as if it's musculoskeletal until you're proven otherwise. Now, how do you do that? Well, the first step would be just doing some simple self-care things like trying doing some stretches or putting some heat on it and seeing if that relieves your symptoms. And if that does relieve your symptoms, chances are pretty good that it's not a kidney problem. The next step would be to seek help. Even if it's not something that's been going on very long, the quicker you access help for lower back pain, usually the faster it gets better and at a lower cost. Seeing a physical therapist directly, it saves you money on tests, MRIs, things that can get really, really expensive and run up your medical costs. Whereas seeing a physical therapist shortly after an episode of back pain, it can oftentimes be resolved in just a couple of visits. The other thing that you should know is that physical therapists actually do have some education in differential diagnosis to help you determine whether your back pain is coming from a musculoskeletal problem or whether it's something more pathological that is out of the scope of physical therapy, for example, a kidney problem. So if you do need some help to figure out what's causing your back pain and to get some help for it, particularly if it's of the musculoskeletal variety and not from your kidneys, then we'd be happy to help you out. If you are in St. Louis, just give us a call at More for Life and we'll get you in for an appointment. And if you're watching this from somewhere else, but you found it helpful to give you some peace of mind that more than likely your back pain is not coming from your kidneys, then give the video a like and subscribe to our channel so you can get notified of our future videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day.